Hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs with another Pharmacy Tech lesson. And in today's lesson, we're going to be discussing allegations. And so how the process is going to be, we're going to start out talking about what we use allegations for. Then secondly, we're going to go through the whole process of how to solve an allegation. And then third, we're going to actually go through the steps of practice problems and actually solving some different case scenarios using allegations. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So, if you'll look here, you'll see with allegations, the thing that I want you to think about is this. Think an ingredient, okay? So just like making a cake or something, you have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little of that, two eggs, some milk, and when it all comes together, you get what you want, which is a cake, okay? So in this, um, in this situation with allegations, I want you to think about two ingredients or three coming together to create the medication that we need for the patient. Okay, so there are two reasons that we use allegations, okay? So one reason would be to calculate an amount of dilutant to dilute a higher strength. And after this, I'm going to tell you what a dilution is or um, what a dilutant is classified as, okay? And the second reason we would use an allegation would be to mix two products to get a specific concentration, okay? So let's get more into um, the actual vocabulary and definitions of these two reasons that we will use allegations. Okay, so basically like we've discussed in the previous videos with given parts and desired parts and needed parts, um, this is what it looks like. So if you've ever played tic-tac-toe, then you know this is how the setup looks. So you got two lines here, two lines going across there, and you got your nine different sections. So this is how it'll be. With an allegation, you're going to start with um, the high percentage goes here, so the higher concentration or strength goes here. The low percentage or strength goes here. The desired percentage goes here, and here you have desired minus lower, and this will all make sense when we begin to talk about the different direction that it goes in. And here you have higher, the higher minus the desired. So let's see, get my light back. Here you have high to desired percentage, and then of course, ultimately here, you're going to get higher minus desired. So you're going to get this number minus this number. And in this case here, you're going to have desired minus lower. So you're going to have this number minus this number. Okay? And ultimately, aside from these percentages that you get, you're going to get what we know as parts. So it's going to be parts of each different medication or the diluted. So, now, if you look here, you'll see we have, um, after we've calculated all of this, then ultimately what we get are the different parts needed. So from, from, this, from this tract here of getting uh, and going to desire minus lower, you'll end up with the higher percentage Needed, so you'll end up with the number of parts that you need from the higher uh, concentration, and from here, from this track going down with the higher minus desired, you'll end up with um, the parts of the lower, the number of parts of the lower uh, concentration that you need, and you'll put these two together, and that will give you. So once you add these two, so you add the parts of the higher percentage and the parts of the lower percentage. Um, like the dilutant or whatever, that's going to end you up with um, your total parts. So I'm just going to put TP here to keep it sharp. But that'll end you up when you um, when you add this plus this, you'll end up with your total parts. Okay, so that's just a general way of. Um, discussing allegations, we're going to go more now into some example problems and it's all going to come together for you, okay? You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're going to try a practice problem. So I'm going to read this problem out and you can also find this problem down in the description um, if you'd like to work it before I actually show you how to go through it and you can work it as I work it, okay? To get you some understanding. So the question reads, you have on hand a 70% alcoholic elixir and a 20% alcoholic elixir. 
okay? So we know when we have 70 and we have 20, it says the prescription calls for a 30% alcoholic elixir. In what proportion must the 70% elixir and the 20% elixir be combined to make a 30% elixir? So if we go according to our formula that we discussed previously, we know here um, that the high, the higher percentage would go here. So we know that 70 would go here, okay? Because we have the 70%. We know that here, the lower would go. So the 20%. And our desired percentage that we want to get is 30, okay? So we also know that here, um, we, we go down and we, we subtract here. So it's gonna be 70 minus 30, which will give us 40. Because it's gonna, for this square, it's higher minus the desired. But in this case here, we're gonna go desired minus lower, which will give us 30 minus 20, which is 10. So we have 10 right there. Okay, so now we also know um, that we talked about the parts. So I'm just gonna write parts here. Okay, so now we know that um, if we just base it off of this right here, the first digit, we know that one part, one of these parts is gonna be the 70% elixir. Okay, so it's gonna be one part 70. And if just in case we wanna get the total parts, we'll go ahead and add it. Um, and we'll say four parts of the 20%, because there's 40 right there, but you just take the first digit, okay? So it's four parts, 20%. So remember, um, we talked about ratios and concentration. If you haven't um, checked out that video, then check it out previously um, in the math section, the math lessons on this channel. But when we talked about ratios, we talked about um, a fraction. So let's see, just gonna write it. Uh, man, I don't wanna confuse you. Um, I'm just gonna write it right here, okay? We'll have uh, one fourth parts, which basically be our ratio here, and one part will be 70%, and the four parts would be uh, 20%. Now, if we add all of these parts together though, however, we get five total parts. We get five total parts. So basically, this is what we know. We know that one part of the 70% elixir and four parts of the 20% alcoholic elixir would give us five total parts, which will be equivalent to what, what we're, our desire is here, which is 30% alcoholic elixir. And that's how you work an allegation. And really, the more you practice it, the better you'll get at it, okay? Okay, guys, this has been Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson. I'm glad that the videos have been helping you guys. You guys have been giving me some feedback on the channel as well as in the email. If you have any questions, make sure you head on over to the questions video. That's where I go each week and I view to see um, if there are new questions. Uh, some of you also send your questions into pharmacytechlessons at gmail.com, which is great. I'm getting your questions there. Even aside from math questions, you're asking me questions regarding in college, pharmacy in college, um, and I'm giving you guys a lot of feedback there. So I'm just so glad to know that the videos are helpful to you guys. You guys have a happy time studying. I hope and pray the best for you as far as your careers and as far as you going into the pharmacy field, make the most of you guys. And like I always tell you, leverage the pharmacy field to take you to higher heights and new goals that you want career-wise, okay? So if you have any questions about this lesson or if it has helped you, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, okay? And leave me a comment below to let me know um, 
any part that you didn't understand or some different examples that you would like worked. And also, by the way, for more examples, head on to the next video in this playlist and that is where you'll see um, actual examples. I'm going to work example after example um, regarding allegations, okay? So I hope this video really